Hello and greetings to you. It's so good to be with you. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. This is Lisa Bubari, clinical hypnotherapist and stress management. I'm here to help you. Today's segment is going to be about easy steps of to sleep soundly and easily. But before we go further, hello Don, thank you for joining. Isn't it a wonderful day? Our weather here in Southern California, it's absolutely crisp and gorgeous. And may you be warm no matter where you are, warm in heart. So let's talk about sleep and how some of us cannot sleep well and how some of us put our head on the pillow and just drift into that wonderful state of hypnotic state and then we trance into that beta state and go to sleep and sleep soundly for the duration of either six hours, seven hours, eight hours and some people sleep for 10 hours. I don't know how, but so hello, Odile. It's so good to have you with us. You know, uh, one of the things that I do and I pride myself, although I've been practicing as a hypnotherapist for over 14 years, is that I don't treat your issues only, but I treat you as a whole person because we're so intricate. If we are not sleeping well, or if we have a problem and there is an issue, it's not only that, but something has triggered us to get there. Most of my clients who come in for any reason, there's always another issue, another, uh, what do you call it, uh, a problem, or something has connected to that triggering point. So we're not only taking care of sleep today, but looking at the overall picture of why is it that you cannot sleep, and I'm going to end our segment today, the session, with a few tips of how to sleep soundly, and perhaps even do a three-minute guided visualization. But I want you to know one thing. I want to make sure that when I am doing my guided visualizations, that if you are driving, you stop driving because you might really relax. And if you are at a place that you are safe, sitting on a couch or at your chair at work or at home, no matter where you are, even in the park, that you take this few moments and you close your eyes and you truly allow yourself to experience the few moments of relaxation. I am not hypnotizing you, but I am asking you to give yourself permission to relax. So, if this segment sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click share and share the segment with some of your friends and family members that are having problems with sleep. Okay, before I get into it, the reason I'm doing this right before the holidays is because I got an email. I got an email from uh, someone from Facebook that I didn't not, that I did not know her personally, and now we're friends. Um, you know who you are. She sent me a uh, uh, a message on Facebook asking me if I will speak about sleep, and this is what she said: "Dear Lisa, I'm reading this for you." Thank you for all your segments. I've been following your Heal Talk Tuesdays since a friend told me about it. Do you talk about sleep and how uh, we can sleep better? And I responded to her as far as, yes, that's one of the things that I specialize in, anxiety, sleep. And she said, 
Thank you. I look forward to seeing one of your segments. So why am I doing this now? Because with all the holidays coming upon us, we get so wound up. We are so wound up and tight and anxious that sometimes we do not give ourselves permission to go into that beautiful state of sleep. You see, sleep is a very natural way to rejuvenate our body and to feel relaxed. There are some people who cannot sleep, and I'll give you a few of them. I jot it down. One, you believe you cannot sleep. This notion of, I can't sleep. When we say, I can't, that means I feel helpless. When you say you cannot fall asleep, it's a false belief. There are so many things in life, believe me, I'm one of them, that I say, I can't do this because I am not tech savvy. But look at me, I'm getting better at this. So when we say I can't, it's not that we really can't, but it's a false belief that we have repeated the word enough times that we have come to believe we cannot. Now, I leave it up to you. Of all the things, not only sleep, what other false beliefs do you have that you believe you cannot? Secondly, the false belief is fear of not getting enough sleep, of being on guard, being worried, you know? Mommies, new mommies, are on guard, making sure that their baby is falling asleep, that the baby is sleeping soundly, and the baby is safe. Even as we grow up, some of our parents, not only as new mommies, they are on guard. So the whole place can have music going on, outside can have construction, and the planes can go over your head, over your house. Nothing will wake you up but the sound of a crying of a child. The mother is up and next to the crib or next to the bed right away. So those are the moment and instances we call being on guard. The other one is being worried. You're constantly worried about something either tomorrow, about something in your family, worried about someone's health. You know, the biggest stressors in our life, it's not our own health, but the health of a loved one. I believe I've talked about this before. So, our second thing about being uh, is, again, wor being worried and being on guard. And that is fear. Third, trying to sleep. You see, the whole notion of trying is me saying, try to blink your eyes. We can't try blinking because we either do it or don't or try shaking my hand. It's one of the things that I do at group settings because we either shake or we cannot shake. We can't not try doing something when we already know. So we can't try sleeping. We go to sleep. Easy. We choose and we sleep. So who cannot sleep? Workaholics. Some of the reasons that people cannot sleep is when they are workaholics and they are worried that they are not putting enough time uh, at work. They feel guilty going home. Or um, you're constantly worried about you haven't done enough. Again, it's the worry aspect. So your mind is constantly working. And you know, one of the things that I've always said if you truly want to sleep, stop counting sheep. Oh, it rhymes, doesn't it? So, 
Why? Because when we are counting, our mind is working. And you, my lady, who sent me that、uh, email, you're one of them that tried very hard counting, right? You said you counted sheep, you counted numbers, you even did everything. So, as long as your mind is working, sleep is not coming. Because sleep is about going into that place of silence.、Mm. Um, what a beautiful sound. The sound of your own humming, the sound of your own heartbeat. That's right. Hello, Renee. There's another one of the aspects people who are analyzers, the counters, analyzers, the overthinkers that are constantly thinking. That will not allow sleep to come, and yet worried about why can't they sleep? You see, it's constantly thinking, I can't sleep. Why can't I sleep? Why isn't sleep coming? I've been tossing and turning for two hours. I've been tossing and turning. It's now three o'clock. <gasps> time. As long as you are keeping time, you are not sleeping. Wait. Those are all the things that I'm giving you the tippers of who you are and what you do not to be able to sleep. I will get to the point of how to sleep. Now, the last one is one of the things that I talk about mostly, and that's why I have a lot of clients that come to me for anxiety and insomnia. Is because they're going through some upheaval. They are stressed. They feel this notion of anxiety, constant worry, and they do not feel safe. Safe in their body, and safe at home, safe in their room. There's a lot of us that have gone through that. Safety is one of the biggest things that keeps you on guard and keeps you stressed. So make sure that you are safe. And believing safety, that belief of knowing that you are safe, it's not that it's out of your control, but you can do something about it. Yes. You can do something about your own safety. If it is about locking the door, if it is trusting within yourself, trusting your body, trusting your health, trusting your mind, trusting wherever you are, that's the word. It comes from trust. So building trust is having the confidence within you. Knowing that you have done everything to safeguard yourself, your body, your loved ones, your home. And then we also pray. And we trust above. Because once you do everything, everything in your power, that's the best you can do. Sleep is a natural state. Everything sleeps. Nature goes to sleep. Seasons change. That peeling away, that change that happens in our life. And we sleep because we have to rejuvenate. So as we are nearing. That place that I would like you to take a moment, a few moments, and allow yourself to delve within yourself. Breathe in life. 
So when you sleep, to bring joy, to bring safety, to bring that essence of comfort within you, here's one of the tools that I help my clients and I use it myself. You know, in life, it can be a day ago, a week ago, a month ago, or you can go all the way through your own timeline. There's been times that you have safeguarded yourself and you felt good, you felt safe, you felt secure, you felt joy and peace and calmness within you. And it could be anywhere. Mine happens to be the ocean because I love the water. And I know at certain times and a place when I have been at the ocean, the sound of the waves, the warmth of the sun. When I have been there, I have made a very conscious effort to bank that moment in. My toes in the sand, the warmth of the sand, the heat of the sun, the sound of the water, or when I'm in the water, just floating, trusting the ocean, trusting myself, knowing that I can move. And at that very moment, being grateful to myself and everything. See, that moment of gratefulness, when you bank that moment, no matter where you are, it could be hugging your child, could be in the arms of a loved one, it could be experiencing an incredible moment even seeing shooting stars and you say, oh, I saw a shooting star. Bank that moment. You love the rain, you go in under the rain and you allow the rain to come trickling down on your face and at that very moment, when you taste it and you say, ah, that's a moment of banking, that experience. When you're in the shower, Allow the water to come down, trickling from the head all the way down, washing away, cleansing all your worries and stress, all the hurt and the pain. You bank that moment. You see, we have so many moments in our life. You have your moments that you have banked without realizing. So in our subconscious mind, we have plethora of moments we have banked. So when you want to sleep, hello, Claudia, take that moment, close your eyes, and allow the experience of whatever it is that you banked become the reality with you at that very moment. And if you are in your bed safe and sound, Become one with the blanket, the sheets, your cover, what you are wearing or not, your skin. You become one with the pillow and allow yourself to let your head sink into the pillow or if you have your hand, allow your hand to safeguard. And as you do, either here, here, or a pillow, or someone's shoulder, or in the comfort of their arms, you bank that moment as well. And you become one with your breath. And as you breathe in and out easily, 
allow silence. Allow that essence of every thought that comes into your mind. Let them all come. It's like the rain. Let it all come and allow it to drift down. That's it. Let it all go. Allow your thoughts to come and let them drift away. Let everything that comes into your mind, you blow them away. Like butterflies, they come and they take all your thoughts, worries, doubts, fears, guilt. Let them come and go. And again, you breathe in vitality, life force, bringing the moments that you have banked within yourself, the joy the goodness, the comfort, the hopes, the safety. And allow your feelings to become more profound. The feelings that you have banked as you welcome them. And every sound that you hear, the sound of your heartbeat, the sound of your palpitation, palpating, knowing that you are alive, you are well, you are safe in your body, you have a sound mind, a loving heart, and sometimes doing nothing is exactly what you need, because that is doing something. And as you go into that wonderful state of calmness, as I call it, this hypnotic state of oneness within yourself, of oneness, one, being one with the universe, and allow everything else to drift away giving yourself permission to go into that sound sleep for the duration of five to seven hours to rejuvenate every cell, every nerve, to heal the wounds and feel stronger, healthier for tomorrow. Trust that tomorrow comes. Look forward for tomorrow, for it is a new day. And as we are nearing the end of the year, you close the night as you pray up, if you do pray or meditate, or just say so. I sleep easily and wonderfully. I sleep soundly and safely. Sleep comes to me easily. I welcome sleep. You can also set the time and the duration of how long you would like to sleep. And ask your mind to awaken you at the right time 
and on time because your mind will do so for you. Every day, in every way, choose rejuvenation, health and calmness, and vitality. And know that there is no one on this earth, no one, that has control over your sound mind and your body and above all, that loving heart of yours. You know, it's not that we lose a part of us, we lose how to sleep, it's not we lose anything. We don't even lose reconnecting, which is misplaced how to. So dear viewer, my dear friends, every single day, choose to evoke what was, to embrace what is, and to evolve to what will be, to sleep better, I also have my own CDs. It says, enjoy deep sleep. Hypnotic suggestions with my voice and a music in the background that is specific with your heartbeat and guides you into drifting into a very natural relaxed state and from there drifting into that hypnotic state and to a deep sleep. Again, know that I'm also offering my sessions, not only at my office at Heal Within, to be there to help you, guide you, share, and any way that I can assist you in moving forward in your life healthier, stronger, better. I can also do Skype for those who are not close to my office because the intention of everything I do, I healed myself through hypnotherapy. And I believe in this work in helping you de-stress and know that the power to heal within is in your hands and allow me to be your guide. So if it is from insomnia and sleeping, calming, releasing fears, I help you reconnect with you. Today, we are only a few days away from Christmas. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, may this Christmas be merry for you. For my friends who celebrate Hanukkah, may every candle you light be a light that shines upon you and every path you take. And for my friends who celebrate Kwanzaa and anyone who is celebrating anything in the next week or two, I wish you the best. Because when I see you next, it will be few days before we close the year and bring a happier year. Why do I say happier? Because we are always hopeful that a new year is a new beginning. We go through loss. We find new loves. There's the yin-yang and the balance that life in itself brings for us. And wonderful way of ending this session. I'm not going to sleep. 
not now. The when you choose to sleep and when I choose to sleep, I close my eyes again, bank the moment, breathe, and say thank you. Live life with awesomeness instead of perfection. Evoke what was, embrace what is, and let us evolve to what will be. I'm going to close the session with my own